This is lame. Can't we just go out and find real Shrinkinator parts already? This isn't trick-or-treat. If you don't know what you're doing in this yard, you're roach brunch. Do you even know what a roach is? Sure. There's a whole bunch of them living in my art teacher's closet. That was then. Welcome to Tiny Town, where one roach can crush your little endoskeleton with his bare hands. And if you think they're mean, wait till you meet a Dilla. Uh, what's an Adilla? You'll find out soon enough. Ah! 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 <laughs> Concentrate, Zack. Focus. Grappling hook. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, no! The hook, not the bolo, the hook! Jail! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, and the veil just keeps on coming. Got this. I think I can taste my spleen. Bet it tastes a lot like failure. Mmm, screams. My second favorite sound. My first being splat. Will I get a splat? Could I be that lucky? <laughs> no, Mother, I totally wasn't partying with the ladybugs, honest. I was, um, uh, serving pizza crust crumbs at the old roach home. Ugh, I am so toast. I'm telling you, it fell from the sky. What do you think it is? It's unnatural is what it is. Natural? What do you mean? I mean, you can't eat it. Well, well, well. <laughs> There's my bargaining chip to keep Mother off my thorax. Stay, stay still, Zack. Ah. So, after this, we go find those Shrinkinator parts, real Shrinkinator parts. You can make us big again, right? Shh, keep it down. If Adilla ever realizes what the Shrinkinator can do, who knows what horrors she might unleash? Who is this Adilla everyone keeps talking about? She's bad news. She's a mosquito that got swatted long ago. Gramps tried to save her, but uh, she wasn't exactly appreciative. Mirror! Daphne, a mirror! <gasps> ah, I'm hideous! <gasps> Since then, she's terrorized the whole yard. She doesn't care who she crushes, and those are the bugs she likes. Jeez. Okay, I get it. Roach is bad, Adilla worse. Hey, guys! Food! And news. The red ants! They're talking about some big metal thing they found. Maybe it's a shrink-a-dink part. Dude, share the wealth. Sure thing, Zach. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hey, what is this? Mm, it fell out of a bird. <laughs> I just want to be big again. Find the parts, and I can do the rest. Oh, and take Zack. Let's see if my calibrating's paid off. Yes, the Zackinator rules. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Of course they need those parts so they can fix that machine. <laughs> so Grampy and Baby Boy want to be big again. Well, who doesn't? This is a dream come true. Mother, what are you cooking up now? Listen, darling. Humans have always hated us, trapped us, swatted us. Tinkered with us like we're their little toys. Yeah, can I go swimming in the stagnant puddle with Jamie? Let's see how Gramps and the other human handle a mosquito their side. I'll get those parts before those tin plated weirdos. You know how I hate them. Send high and low to fetch that Shrinkinator part. And the spawn of Gramps. Breathing and in one piece. Breathing? That's not like you. With little Grand Sonny in my grip, the old fool will do whatever I say. And I say, all hail Adila, ruler of the human realm. <laughs> Leave 
this to me. It calls for a dash of the old Zack charm. Good idea, because the new Zack charm stinks. <coughs> me? Me, human. Huh? Uh, me, need, thing, hard thing, big thing. Who thinks you here, and why is he talking to me like I'm a moron? Sorry about that, Bert. Tiny little humans. <laughs> what you gonna do, all right? Hey, you got a weird metal thing around here? Sure, Sid. We throw it around the back. Wait, wait. You don't even want it? Rule number one, Pinky. We don't keep what we can't eat. Oh, awesome. I'm there. Rule number two, Pinky. Everything has a price. And rules, Pinky. Learn them, live them. But I've got nothing to trade. You don't, but he does. Our first Shrinkinator part, and bird poop cheap. That was my lunch. What if they all fly south again like last year? Bird's happy, we're happy, sparrows don't migrate, the circle of life. All I know is I'm one Shrinkinator part closer to getting out of here. <laughs> so, Willow, what was all the hype about the big bad roaches? Uh, yeah. Behind you! Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look low, it's the wasp, the snail, and the caterpillar. Ah! Ah! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, where are we going? <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> uh, weren't we supposed to get two things? Uh, maybe, but uh, you know, one out of two is pretty impressive, yeah? Yeah, that's like 70% successness. <laughs> that's almost perfect. It's almost perfect to be almost perfect. <laughs> perfect! <laughs> Oopsie, almost forgot you. If we can just go back... Save your breath. Zack, don't mess with roaches. But guys, they took the part. They took our part. We can't let them do that to us. Sure we can. They do it all the time. I'm with Chowser and Willow in this. Lose a part, keep my shell. Home, guys. You know what? You're right. Maybe we do suck. But if you're also right about Adilla, she'll get those parts, control the Shrinkinator, and take over the world like King Kong. And that's a world that nobody, bug or human, will want to live in. We may be losers, bombs, busts, studs, We flops. get it. Good, because the cost of failure's way bigger than all of us. Aren't most things bigger than all of us? We can't afford to walk away. Together, we can do this. Who's with me? No, you brainless bags of brawn! I needed the part and that ugly little boy! Yeah, and work on deltoids. Oh, oh I like to say deltoids. <laughs> yeah, deltoids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> deltoids. Oh, deltoids. Oh, yeah, feel the burn. Uh -huh. I think you have something that belongs to us. Well, come and get it. Come on, guys! Let's do this! Over here! Almost! I'm slow. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I'm in shape. <laughs> Y'all <Yeah>, good shape. <laughs> Are you keeping up? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're just gonna stick it out. Hurry! Oh, come on! <laughs> Go high! I got the chopper! Oh, come on. You can do better than that. We're not done yet! Ah, so you're a 
Dilla. Oh, nice doing business with you. <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> uh, one question. What do we call ourselves? You win this time, but you'll never beat me. You, you, and Sentinels! Hi, Mom. I'm having a pretty good time. Made some new friends, met some bullies too, but nothing I can't handle. Thumbs up, smiley face. Love you, Zach. Now, <laughs> sit all boy, you're a genius. The team actually believed I had to bail on the mission so I could visit my sick grandmother. Ha! Just... What have I done? It looks like Sid's decision has led to a collision. Will his plan to skip work expose him as a liar? Or will Sid's day of vacation be one of devastation? Of all the selfish, pig-headed, irresponsible schemes anyone's pulled, Sid, this takes the cake. I didn't take anyone's cake. No, you abandoned your team. And then you injured Cliff, the mail carrier. Oh, so sorry, Cliff. It was an accident. It's okay, Sid. Accidents happen. Last week, I took a wrong turn and walked up the business end of a skunk. Ew. That's what my wife said. <laughs> No hard feelings. I just need to figure out how to deliver today's packages. Uh, don't worry, Cliff. I'm sure Sid knows just the person to fill in for you. Don't you, Sid? Or uh, Zach? No. Willow? No. Chowser? No! They're all busy doing their jobs. Unlike some of us. Huh. Fine, Cliff. I'd be happy to deliver your packages for you. That's great, Sid. They're right over there. What? How am I supposed to carry all of those? I mean, I'd use my huge muscular arms, but to... Leave that to me. Oh, not bad, Gramps. So, uh, how long is Cliff gonna be, uh, out of commission? He should be back on his feet, uh, Thursday. So tomorrow? No, Sid. Tomorrow is Wednesday. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I tend to mix up dates after I've, uh, been in a collision. Get some rest, Cliff. I haven't even told you where the other package is There's no time! Special delivery. Oh, well, hello, stranger. Stranger? Oh, not for long, I hope. I'm Sid, and you're stunning. <laughs> Otherwise known as Rebecca. What brings a slimy smoothie like you to a sleepy corner like this? Love. And uh, what better way to express my love than. Well, actually, it's a... It's a romantic move, Romeo. And you built this whole box getup for the sole purpose of making sure your gift got to me safely? Ah, <laughs> you said it. Nothing's too good for you, Becca, baby. A hammer? <laughs> That's right, a hammer. Well, what better object to symbolize the strength or power of my feelings for you? So how about a date? Zen Garden tonight, uh, sunset? I'll be there with Belson. <laughs> and also this hammer. <laughs> Sid, what are you doing here? Oh, Harla, my queen. 
you must be tired because you've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, swing by to, uh, you know, gaze into those beautiful eyes of yours. Sid, you don't need to keep wooing me. I already said I'd go out with you, remember? A doll? Do I look like the kind of girl that likes dolls? A doll? That's not a doll. That's a, a, a sparring dummy. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Give it a punch. Hey, that's not bad. Thanks, Sid. Whatever you say, sweet fang. See you in two days for our date. Wait, did he say in two days? Nah, I couldn't have. Her date's tonight. Hey, which reminds me, I should finish my workout and get ready. Oh, where is Cliff with that doll for my niece? Green package. It's in the green package. Oh, she's gonna be mad. Gonna be mad. Gonna be mad. Uh, hello. <gasps> You're not Cliff. Or are you? Cliff, little wizard, turn you into a snail. <laughs> oh, yeah, what a great sense of humor. Hi, I'm uh, Sid. Sid? Whoa, no, no, it's just something I threw together to do this. Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna see if it's sticking. They're out to get me, you know. Uh, what the heck? Why? Is something wrong with my head? Are they trying to scare my brain? Uh, no, I, I, I made this hat just for you. Uh, it uh, prevents anyone from reading your mind. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, oh, thank you, Sid. I love it. Now the bugs are <laughs> Why do I always fall for the crazy ones? What? Nothing. Say, this is uh, probably a terrible idea, but uh, how about a date? <laughs> Tuesday night in the uh, Zen Garden? Hmm. Oh, boy. That's it. See you, too. What's that, Jorge? You're right. Tuesday night is tonight. Woo! I'm gonna get busy. Three dates in one week. I just set a personal record. Just call me Snail Anova. Huh? <laughs> what now? I have a date to get to. Hmm. What would Cliff do? Now, Sid, if your packages fall out and you have a date to get to, don't worry about it. Just leave them on the ground. Your love life is way more important than delivering the mail. Cliff's right. I've got a date to get to. Supposed to meet a, a date? Uh, <laughs> what are you all doing here? I was uh, supposed to have a date with. Uh... <laughs> oh. Now, girls, don't. Uh... Those were your gifts, weren't they? You were just giving us each other's packages to get dates with us. Yeah, packages that were supposed to be delivered by. <gasps> what have you done with? 
<laughs> Why don't we just... <laughs> 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 Better than great, perfect, no problems at all. Totally didn't get jumped by any of your customers. <laughs> on an unrelated note, I'm never going on another date for as long as I live. Mm. Go to bed now, bye. Hello? Huh. Anyone here? Oh, crud. For looking for Sid, he gave us all each other's mail to get dates with all of us. All for the same night. Sid, <laughs> is this true? <laughs> what can I say? Delivered mail is uh, one of the very few things I'm not great at. Guess I'm off the job, eh, Cliff? <laughs> Think again, Sid. Uh, sorry about the mix-up there, and sorry it's all stretched out. <laughs> huh. It's not a gift from me, it's just a piece of mail. That I'm delivering a day late because I'm a selfish, self-centered snail with no respect for the hard-working ants and termites of the postal service. <sighs> Happy? Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Sid. How'd you like to fill in for me again? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, Cliff. I think I'll stick to perilous run-ins with Adilla and her giant posse of ruthless goons. Really? Oh, you bet. It's a lot safer than delivering mail. Now this is a deal that will make us both happy. I get one of those wretched insectables, and you... Well, you get back your popularity. Oh, trust me, Honeyflower. <laughs> it's a win-win. And you're positive you can capture that wormy green thing? Oh, I'll succeed. No male caterpillar alive can resist the charms of Peggy. <laughs> Oh, how delightful! <laughs> mm, what's this? Is poor Chowser about to lose his freedom? And his heart? <laughs> Will there be anything left of the doughy jolt when they're all done? Ooh! Let's see how it all comes out. <laughs> Thanks for covering for me with that whole ant situation, Zach. No sweat, but we got a bar, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, sorry I ate those holes in the cheese you were supposed to give them in the tray. <laughs> So now they think they got Swiss cheese. But next time, Chowser. <gasps> Chowser? <laughs> Chowser? Uh, Chowser, buddy? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, you're alive. Uh, oh, my head. What happened? Was it the cheese? <laughs> she happened. Huh? <laughs> a girl caterpillar? Really, Zach? She's the most beautiful girl caterpillar that has ever wriggled the earth. Hey, big green and shiny. Ah! Oh. Uh, Chowser? Uh, be right back. Chowser, what's the problem? I think she likes you. Me? I'm not fit to comb her eyelashes! Be cool, Chowser. She must like you. Well, you're acting like a psycho, and she's still here. Oh, uh, you make a good point. Look, you're my buddy. 
I'll help you out. Really? You know how? Uh, well, no, but I watch a lot of music videos. It's easy. Cool. Hmm. Oh, hi, big guy. <laughs> She wants to go eat with him. Like what? Uh, berries. Uh, yeah, there's some at the shed. Uh, I've got to get this part back to Gramps anyway. Uh, I'll be back in a flash with some berries. <laughs> Don't go! I can't do this alone! <laughs> you can. You're an insectable. Do us proud. I will. Oh, do us proud. So what? So where have you been all my life? I, 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 Or we can just do it this way. Well, it's 
Peggy, no, it's not straight. What? What? Uh, what are you talking about? Handing you over to Adila and her goon, you fool. Was it something I said? No, it's something you are. I used to be the most popular caterpillar in this yard. Everyone talked about me and nobody else. They liked me best. And why not? I'm beautiful. And then <laughs> you showed up with those fancy bionics. And now all the caterpillars talk about is you. Oh, really? What do they say? Oh, none of your business. This isn't about you, it's about me. I made a deal with Adila. I give her you, and she gives me back my popularity. Date over, lady. You leave him alone. Hey, buddy, are you all right? Oh, I can't believe she tricked me. I hear you, buddy. But hey, let's get out of here and go grab some berries. Right, because I was getting hungry. and we should help. So, should we like, you know, smash you to the ground? Huh? No, you idiot! I'm working here! You... You... Chowser, time to put this whole either. situation I in swear. reverse. points and scrabble. <laughs> Imagine snail shell bits everywhere. Splatter art. Pavement pizza! <laughs> Am I the only one getting hungry? <laughs> about I shoot you into a wall and then ask you the same question. Yeah, he's fine. So, did I hit 100? Uh, the needle says no. I'm really sorry about that, Sid. Oh, I'm a almost Don't ever make me the victim of your stupid jacks. Shouser didn't do that on purpose, Sid. It was a total accident, honest. 
to buddy up again. Cool! Not interesting. No, seriously, the three hombres? Childhood chums. Charlie, Fast Eddie, and me. Every year they get together. Every year I decline. Is that why you've been so stressed all week? Mm, it's complicated. Dude, you should totally go! Just to unwind a few days, hang out with your homies. Not going. Maybe they used to make you feel bad, but remember, that was the old you. I mean, time to show them the amazing, heroic Sid we know and love. Show them the new Sid 2.0. You'll feel a million times better. And I'll even go with you for moral support. Yeah, Sid, go! Yeah, do it! Yeah, Sid. Fine, just cork your cake holes, kitties. You win. Oh. Hey, Charlie, you think Sid'll show? <laughs> that big weenie? <laughs> well, I wish he was coming. Why do we have this? None of us can hold a dart. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of jokes, look who it is. Sid! Hey, Sid, old buddy, how you been? Uh, adequate. <laughs> Funny as ever. You kill me, Sid. Hey, did you know he was a kidder kid? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Life of the party. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, fake salt. You almost gave him a heart attack. Lighten up, Captain Bring Down. Sid loves this stuff. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, you okay? You serious? Look, this is your chance to sort these guys out. <gasps> hey, you want to prank them good? Show them who's top snail around here? Eh, I may regret this in my memoir, but uh, <laughs> I'll bite. What's your plan? Three words, Sid. Buy on X. Okay, guys. The first one to reach the laundry line and come back wins. Okay, okay, now let me get this straight. If Sid here wins this race, then me and Eddie got to... Uh, Apologize to him. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. What does Charlie get if Sid loses? <laughs> yeah, what about me, huh? What does Charlie get? Uh, if you win, you get, uh, me. Yeah, I'll be your slave for a week. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait. Someone new to torment? <laughs> Delio! Putty <laughs> in our hands. Just do not let them see the wheels. You clean his clock and the last lap is ours. So listen up, racers. You follow the track, no shortcuts. Whoever crosses the finish line first wins. <laughs> Get ready to put on your little maid outfit, kid. I'll need my shell polished after this dusty race. In your dream, slime butt. Okay, on your mark. Get set. And since I can't hold a starting pistol,
that a tornado? Dang, global warming isn't just a theory. <laughs> Outfit. Whoa! This is our secret, Sid. Previously on the insect. <laughs> our food! Who? Who took our food? What's going on? Why is everyone avoiding us? <laughs> really? <laughs> Two teams enter, and one team leaves. So, the Insectables have finally met their match. <laughs> and now it's a contest to pit skill against luck. Real against fake. Who will win? <laughs> Whichever team is victorious will be declared the real insectable. And the other team... Well, they'll have to answer. 
answer to us. You will be judged on three categories. Style, poise, and effectiveness. <laughs> Let the game begin! No problem. We got this one in the bag. You think so? Of course. These are carnival games. I play them every year at the state fair. Ooh, last year, I even won a stuffed pink unicorn with a glittery mane. Well, are you adorable? His name was Bruiser. For this first test, whoever can knock the most acorns off with this pebble wins! <laughs> Watch and learn. No, 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 no. Oh, go, Jack! Right. Show him who's boss! It's up to us. As usual. Oh boy. Go, Sid! Go, Insecto! I suck the most! Go, Sid! The first snail to complete 10 laps wins! <laughs> yeah, I'm too quick for you! On your mark! Okay, this is our last. 
these are the real insectables. Take that! Yes! I can't believe this. Really? Really? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You mean I ate all that dirt for nothing? It wasn't even fresh. But they cheated. Aw, don't be a sore loser, fake insect. Let this be a lesson to you. You can't beat the real insectables. So what do you say, guys? What should we do with these frogs? Run! Thank you. Good night, everyone. Try not to flood the shed with your tears. Don't you have a heart? 
Don't you have any taste? That movie's awful. There's plot holes big enough to drive Chowser through. It's okay, Sid. Maybe one day. Maybe one day? We'll watch a movie that doesn't make me want to stuff cabbage in my eye sockets. Was that the door? Who'd be visiting at this hour? Only one way to find out. Dry your eyes, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs> Babies on the doorstep. Our heroes have taken on challenges to harrowing dimension. Yet there's one even they haven't conquered. Babysitting. <laughs> Will they be able to navigate the pernicious perils of parenthood? Or will their daycare turn into a day can't? <laughs> a basket of babies? Is this a joke? Who would just leave babies here with us? What are we supposed to do with them? Aww, they're so cute! And they're twins! What? How can you tell? All ants look alike. Don't ever let an ant hear you say that. They must have been dropped off by their mom or dad. Question is, <laughs> why? Well, quick! <laughs> we gotta track down whoever left them. You'll never find them in the dark. They're long gone. You can take the babies back to the ant village first thing tomorrow and get some answers. Great. Now that that's settled, can we go get some sleep? Yeah. All right. Stop! Stop! stop the, no. oh, oh, I'd oh. recognize a cry like that anywhere. These little guys are hungry. Hungry? This sounds like a job for Chopper. Maybe they'll like something from my secret stash of Doctor Nibble. Whoa! How much more does it keep under there? It's probably best not to think about it. They, they ate all my food! All of it! It's all gone! Well, the good news is they should settle down now. <laughs> or not. Gramps, we still gotta find that part tomorrow. Are these guys gonna be a problem for us? Oh, no, no, no! Unless they don't settle down, then yes. Rambunctious youngsters can be pretty all-consuming if raising your father was anything to go by. Well, then how do we... Ah, get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Knock my eyes! No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Dark matter. Problem solved. I'm gonna go back to bed. Oh, no, you don't, Sid. Watch these two. We have to clean up this mess. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, no, me, no. Eh, don't worry, Sid. I've got just the thing to keep their minds off you. No ant baby can resist a skillfully made rattle. It's a scientific fact. A few shakes of this guy and you'll have two very, very relaxed baby ants on your hands. my arms. 
loose anymore. How long have they been going at it? About eight hours. Oh, how long have we been awake? About a million hours. Uh, it's hopeless. There's nothing we can do to ever, ever get them to stop. <laughs> to get this rattle away from them. Worst invention ever! Oh, <laughs> 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 Is that a crib or a cage? Hmm. Not cute at all. No, plenty cute. Just shove those monsters in it and haul them out of here. And now that they're sleeping, you shouldn't have any problems. Good luck. I think I'll hit the hay. Okay, now what? Willow, you and Chowser drag him to bed. And get yourselves there, too. Sid and I will get the babies to the village. Wait, what? Why do I have to go? You're the only one who can pull the crib. The babies are asleep. They won't give you any trouble. They better not, kid. I know where you sleep. I better get a date out of this. No, my baby! Oh. Give me my baby back! You get it back? Once we train him as a henchman for a dealer. Yeah, you should be proud. And babies make great henchmen. They grow so fast and are good at learning. <laughs> like us. <laughs> yeah, we got an IQ of almost 100. Yeah, combined. Lo, put the baby in with the others. Kid, whatever you do, don't let them get the baby. So, run away. I think I can handle that. Hands off those ant babies. Look low, more babies. <laughs> Not for long. Huh? Hey, where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. You want some of this? Dark matter? I don't know what that is, but it must be packed with vitamins. How 
could I ever repay you? Uh, just keep that rattle far away from us. You <laughs> got it. <laughs> Oh, boy. If I never see a baby again, it'll be too soon. Yeah. Ugh. Sid? It's just they, they weren't that bad. Ah, so you do have a heart after all. What? No, ew, uh, of course not. Yeah, folks around here know me, all right. Hard-boiled wasp in the fedora. It's a million miles scale. My job, it's not Job. It's something you've got to do deep down in your bones. Bones you don't even have because you didn't have to have an exoskeleton. But deep down in your squishy, buggy sides. You get the idea. Mmm, squishy bug insides. Sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry. And I'm sure Willow, playing detective, is going to serve up a feast of delectable problems. <laughs> How did I get to be the great detective? How did I get here? My story is the kind you remember like it was yesterday. Mostly because it was yesterday. Some ants had lost their food and they asked me and the other insects to find it. I had a gut feeling about this case. I felt I could crack it. The food's in Chowder's uh -huh. Whoa! How did that get in there? The bugs in the yard were excited. Named me a great detective. But I had a problem. I couldn't let my detecting work interfere with my insectable's work. What would the guys say? Thing is, I love the detective work. I was stuck on it like a rub from a gummy bear. I would just have to do both. Soon I needed an office. Plus a clean shape. Actually, a slug the whole time. Oh, 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 oh. That explains it. Oh, wait, wait, Everything was going perfectly. I felt it was time to tell the team what I'd been doing. I was more nervous than a rabbit at an all-you-can-eat coyote buffet. But I had to try. Hi, guys. I have something I really want to say to everybody. Uh, sure, in a minute, Willow. There's something I gotta say first. One of our team has been moonlighting with an extracurricular activity that's really hurting the team and it's just gotta stop. Sid, this whole speed dating thing is getting out of control. You're never around. Well, yeah, it takes a lot of time. It's snail speed dating. Snails. This is serious, people. The Shrinkinator's important. The whole team has just got to stay focused on our work. No exceptions. Okay, Willow, what did you want to tell everybody? Uh, nothing. No big deal. What was I going to do now? I made up my mind. I would give up the whole detecting game. But then he walked through my door. One case I Stolen sugar! My prized possession! It was a gift from my grandmother! Passed down generation to generation! And now it's been stolen! Please! Please help! What could I say? Except... I'll take the kid! I was on the trail of that sugar quicker than a termite heading to a wood convention. Picking up the word on the street. Whispers in the yard. In music, I followed me. It took a lot of watching and a lot of time. A lot of time waiting. Hey, where's Willow? It's her week to wash the dishes. They're piling up, and I'm hungry. Ch 
Towser, you never use dishes. <laughs> All right, I forgot. <laughs> Weird, though. It's not like Willow to be shirking your duties. <gasps> you don't think she's in some kind of trouble, do you? Ah, uh, probably. Oh, no, she's in trouble! No! Uh, calm down, everybody. I'm sure she's fine. But I tell you what, we'll hire that new detective everyone is talking about, just to make sure. I was in my office one morning reading my thank you mail when suddenly a disaster struck. Mr. Great Detective, uh, we have this friend, Willow, and we're worried about her. Think you could find out why she's not home much anymore? Oh, uh, oh things, uh, I mean, Mr. Human Guy I've never met. I'll oh, track down this, uh, what's her name? Willow? Uh, Willow! Right, Willow. I'll track her down. Rick Sam always gets his man. <laughs> Even if that man's a girl who's lost. Do you get it? I like that detective. Yeah, seems cool. If anybody can find out what's going on with Willow, that detective sure can. I can feel it. Excuse me. Have you seen this? It's my sugar treasure. Have you seen it? It's been stolen. My prize possession. Oh, no. Sorry, haven't. Excuse me, ladies. Have you seen this? This neighborhood's getting pretty rough. Yeah, it's enough to make a guy want to hide his shell all day and take a nap. That's what you do every day. This was bad. I had to find some way to let my friends know I was okay without giving away my secret identity. So, <clears throat> you see, Willow is mine. I've been trailing her, and uh... she murdered someone! I fell off a cliff! Thanks, everybody! No, oh, wait, that's me. No, 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 Willow's fine. Um, in fact, she's great. She's been missing all the time because uh, she's taking some personal time. Harmless relaxing. Nothing suspicious at all. You know, um, harmless stuff. Uh, extremely harmless and relaxing activities. Like, uh, um, an old age yet massage from the dentist. Cucumber. Don't worry. Okay? Okay. Right now. That ought to ease their minds. No, 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 no! Don't do that! Nothing! Willow! Yeah, Willow needed to relax for the first time in her life. If I was looking for evidence that the world was ending, <laughs> this be it. Well, I don't know about the end of the world. But Willow's got to be in some heavy trouble. We'd better keep an eye on her. I still had to find the sugar. I had a fresh lead. Some rumors I heard around the trash can that I just had to follow. for this. After him! Nice job, Steve Sugar. Let me get a split it up. Took me a few days and nights to crank you boys down. Days up. Hand it over. Oh, Sugar! He did it! What? Ooh, you're the sugar thief! How dare you! Are you running some crazy crime ring here? This is not going well. Gotta at least get this sugar back to that ant! After him!
Sid from showing up. Willow, I gotta say, I think you being the great detective is the best thing ever. Yeah, me too, Wills. Really? Oh, thanks, guys. And in fact, you know what I'm thinking? We should all join your team. What do you say? Insectable detectables. In the yard and on the case.
for the fun part. <laughs> Yeah. 
not an insectable either, you nutbag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should be good now. Give her a try. <gasps> you never said it was this big. Oh, right. I was thinking like a normal sized guy, not like a bug. You thinking what I'm thinking? Hey, you lucky bugs. Get your family, get your friends. It's party time in Pizza <laughs> Hi, Mom. Thanks again for the pizza. It was amazing. We even ended up having some friends over. <laughs> Something so simple and delicious could bring so many together. Oh, by the way, Gramps says next time you order, get one with anchovies. Love you. Zach. Ah, ah, the old home of the Oscillatron. I'm that much closer to getting the Shrinkinator up and running again. All right, team, no sudden movements. The slightest jolt will throw off the calibration, and I'll have to start over again. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Gramps. Well, guys, can I? Chowser, I think we should plant it. Aw, but I want to eat it now, Zach. Sorry, Chows. I'm with Willow. I don't want to be anywhere near you after you eat a giant bean. Thanks. I didn't want to say it. Oh. Guys, you're making my tummy really sad. <clears throat> what is that? Everyone, go find out what's doing that and get it to stop. The Asimitron can't take much more of this. Okay, come on. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Too much for even our brave insectables. It'll be fun to watch them bite off more than they can chew. <laughs> Zach, if my hunt is correct, it's not a matter of if he'll be back, but when. You're talking like you know this worm. Uh, a worm with a metal jaw. Call me crazy, but did you have anything to do with that? Yes, I did. It was years ago. I had just started to construct a shrinkinator when I found a worm. It had injured its jaw on the shed's concrete base, so I did my best to fix it. Wait, a worm was trying to eat through your concrete floor, so you thought it would be a good idea to give him a metal jaw? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Ridiculous. I was thinking helpful. But you may have a point. I guess the worm didn't like his upgrades, and now he's got it in for me. But why now? That's what I can't figure out. But it doesn't matter. He's coming for us, and we have to be prepared. Uh, with hairpins? Ah, uh, one man's hairpin is another man's customized sonic steak. You guys will plant a line of these in the ground in front of the shed. They'll emit a sonic pulse that should drive the worm away. Uh, like an invisible dog fence. If your dog was, you know, a worm. Yeah, but listen closely. They have to stay upright in order for the pulse to flow correctly. If any of them get knocked over... Yeah, they'll... yeah, we got it. Make a perimeter. Keep them straight, save your life. Just another day in the sandbox. Capacitor activated. This should do it. 
So the stick bug says, I don't care if you waxed it. That's not my leg! <laughs> <laughs> things. Okay, okay, I got one. Knock, knock. What? No! Ah, it's always something. <laughs> what was that? I thought I saw something. Yeah, look, kid, we've been busted hump all morning. Just relax, let us enjoy our day. Well, now that you mention it, those stakes would make some excellent goalposts. Huh? <laughs> Zack races the ball down the field as he looks for an opening. Will he find one? Uh, are we supposed to be doing something? Uh, yeah, playing defense. Right, got it. What's defense? This is how humans spend their free time? <sighs> Can we get back to eating now? First, I need you to go stand between those two stakes. Come on, this will only take a minute. Ah! What I wouldn't give for a one-inch tall hardware store. Ah, oh, well, at least I know the team's out there beautifully standing guard. Uh, I'm having second thoughts about this. Shouser, if you block this shot, it starts on me. <laughs> Okay, let's see if that did it. Just uh, catch up with you later then. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Science means humiliating Adila's roaches by riding them like surfboards on her pond. Yeah, and did you see the look on Adila's face when we catapulted that old party balloon full of slime at her pop? Priceless! Oh, that was epic! And hey, what about when Chow's lassoed that squirrel and it chased Adila's whole crew into the next yard? Yeah, way to go, Chowser! Uh, Chowser? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Whoa. Uh, Chowser, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, uh, I'm just nervous. Oh, everything's gonna be so different. Huh? W what do you mean? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, everything will be fine. Fine! <laughs> Wait for us, Chowser! Right behind you. Not really. Hey, Gramps! We did it! We got the Shrinkinator's Ionic Alternator! Gramps? Hey! What is it new? Huh? Dear team, I've discovered a special dandelion spore in the garden that's either really poisonous or really delicious. Let's hope it's the second one. Don't touch my workshop! Oh, well, looks like he'll be back tonight. You know what that means. Tacos for lunch. Chowser, didn't you hear Zach? Yeah, that's great, guys. Uh, sorry I can't join you. I've really got to be getting ready. Things have to be just right before everything changes. Getting ready? Changing? <gasps> Is he talking about what I think he's talking about? No way. I thought Gramps told us it wasn't possible. What, Chowser skipping lunch? <laughs> no, Chowser, you know, changing. We should go check on him. Check on him changing? Doesn't even wear clothes. What? <gasps> oh, changing. Well, that didn't take long. Ooh, it looks like our heroes have arrived just in time for Chowser's re-birthday party. 
and what it lacks in presents and party hats, it more than makes up for in giant, pulsating, pooper sacks of mystery. And what will pop out? That would ruin the surprise. <laughs> in no time, you'll see. He needs our support, no matter what. No matter what. Fine. Hey, fly girl, rub my feet. <laughs> now, you, robo arm, make me some lunch. Sure thing, buddy. And you, slide bag, clean my wings. Why, you are I, I said, clean my wings. Just <laughs> Uh, here's your lunch. Forget your lunch! What's for dinner? I want it now! Uh, we were planning on a I want a mushroom souffle with an aged milkweed base! Pronto, peon! Okay, I know he's been through a lot, and we have to be understanding, but come on! Yeah, I am this close to telling him off. I know, guys, I know. He's really ticking me off, too. But just a little longer, until he settles in. He's a friend. We can't abandon him now. No, but can we tie him up and toss him in a mason jar until he settles down? No. Let's just get what we need for dinner and try to get through tonight, okay? So, uh, have we totally given up on the tossing him in a jar idea? Because I thought that was, uh, uh, very Im Im immature. Oh, Chowser better appreciate this. Milkweed makes my hands all stick. What was that? Huh? <gasps> What's with all the noise? What is going on? Uh... Oh, the insectables! Thank goodness you're here! Me and my friends were heading back home when this giant yellow thing came out of nowhere! They got trapped underneath! Ow! It's And delicious! The neighbor kid must have thrown it over. Probably wanted his mom to think he ate it. Let's go, team! <laughs> <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Uh, okay, Willow, you get to work drilling this thing into smaller pieces. Sid, we need you to pull away the sections. Chowser, you pull the end. Excuse me? You're giving me orders? No, not orders. I'm you coordinating the orders to me. Oh, we don't have time for this. Either help us or leave. <laughs> See you around, Lame Brains. Why, you! Uh, ah. Ah, 
<laughs> Don't mention it, guys. You're welcome! Although it would have gone so much faster if Chowser helped. I, I mean, we should be mindful of Chowser's uh, emotional state and... Uh... Give him a piece of our minds! He can boss us around, but endangering innocent books? Here comes a pair now. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Oh no, Grant! Oh, we have to clean this place up. Ah, it's good to be home. Huh. Why do I have some crazy dandelion stories? Anything change while I was gone? Uh, nope, not a thing. Onward, Sid, to glory! Oh, man, we should have built one of these a long time ago! Faster, Sid! Yeah, faster, holy darkness, though! There's an extreme in the yard that can outrun me! I'm an independent boy! A grace! A skillful A malfunctioning mollusk, his fallen friends, and an unwieldy pot? The insectables seem to have found themselves in a tight spot! <laughs> and if they get squeezed any tighter, their delicious terror might just ooze out! <laughs> Hurry, Gramps. We need to get back to Second Chow's 
Luther. There's many ducks out there with that heavy cart, especially the roaches show up. Whoa, careful there, Gramps. These wheels are delicate instruments. Delicate instruments that went kablooey at the worst possible time. Face it, Wills. You need my macho muscles to drag that thing back here. In your dreams. Oh, and you're welcome for getting you back safely. So what's up, Gramps? You fit for service or what? Not sure. It would help if I knew what the problem was. Gramps! Whoa, sorry, Gramps. That wasn't me. Understood, Sid, but I hereby remove you from the field. No missions until I figure out what's going on. R removed from the field? That almost sounds like a vacation! <laughs> Somebody give me a drink with a tiny umbrella in it. And some munchies. Uh, unsalted. I'm off, Gramps. We'll get that big beast back here somehow. And don't worry about Sid. He's in good hands. Hey, Willow, on the way back, pick me up some bronzer. I've got a tan to work on. <sighs> it's not easy being a hero. <sighs> Whatever. Did I ever tell you about the time I had to fake my own death? Just <laughs> tip Grandpa. Never tried taking more than two girls to the prop. Did I ever tell you about the other time I wore this uh, mustache for a week? <laughs> the ladies love the stash. here out in the open. We'll be fine. <sighs> A little help here? Don't get me wrong. I love honey like my own reflection. The road's heavy. What do we do? <laughs> Dylan needs to get the bees working on the low-carb version of something. <laughs> we don't want any trouble. Just keep moving. <laughs> That, wouldn't you? Uh, I would, yes! Hey, is that a shrink and the pot? No. Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> so we're gonna get the insectables and the shrink and the pot today. <laughs> it's like a one for two. I, I mean, the, the two for one, carry the six. We're like a nun for none. Huh? Those are your last words, puny? <sighs> no imagination. Maybe a good clobbering will help. Not if I can help it. Willow! But, but we're Sid! Working on his tan. Now back off, bozos. We're taking our part and we're leaving. And nothing's gonna be in our... Ah! 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 Solar-powered flashlight. Dee-ha! 
hydrated water, a flecked fork, a self-propelled mohawk. <laughs> I was uh, going through a phase. Uh, that's great, Gramps. But what about her? Ah, uh, your chips were a great deal. But don't worry, I only use the highest quality carts. with Explodo brand controller tips? I don't know much about computers, but that doesn't sound good. Relax, gang. These chips work every bit as well as regular chips if you just zap their PRAM within the first year. And if you don't? Uh, well, uh, according to this, they uh, sort of explode. Explode? <laughs> yep. Way to allay our fears, Gramps. Yeah, but like I said, only if you don't zap the PRAM. Should have plenty of time for that. Thank you for using Explode Over at Controller Chips. Your chip will terminate in four minutes. What? Four minutes? I can't explode, Gramps. I have a date tonight. I don't want to terminate! Gramps, how could you? We're all gonna explode just so you can save a few bucks! We can be mad at Gramps later. Right now, he has to reset our chips. Uh, yes, I just need to consult the manual. Termination in. Well, then here's an idea, Gramps. Consult the manual! I'd love to, but it's up there. Of course it is. Oh, no! How do we reach it? Leave that to me.
On second thought, this is still a sick day for me. Let them handle it. Hey, Gramps, where's that, uh, that, uh, umbrella drink? Yeah, uh, don't forget the munchies. So the mushroom says, why not? I'm a fun guy. <laughs> Get it? Fun guy? <laughs> huh? Huh? Get it? Because he's a mushroom! <sighs> Chaucer, you told us that joke yesterday. <laughs> Morning, guys. <laughs> What's for breakfast? That? Are you okay? Yeah, of course I am. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Zach, no! Stay away from them! You're contagious! What? Ah! Oh, oh, gross, 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 gross! Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, it looks like you and I have both come down with a nasty case of anagram flu. It will be okay, but I can't say the same for any insects. What? Ooh. Oh, and mollusks. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. What do we do? Yeah, we have to leave right now and buy some canagran root. It's our only chance at a cure. Yeah, uh, you better go out and start the search. Like, right now. Yeah, buddy, and I'll take your time out there. Oh, yeah, good, good luck, guys. <laughs> no better. <laughs> Bye. We're all goners! <laughs> Zack and Gramps, carriers of a contagion? I'd hate to see their friends fall victim to their human bone plague. <laughs> Gramps, how much time do we have left? We've been walking for hours and there's still no sign of that root. Uh, actually, it's been eight minutes. <sighs> Just be straight with me, Gramps. I can take it. <laughs> no worries, Zach. I've found the cure. <gasps> you have? Yes. Voila, you're cured. <laughs> and that's great. You've... Wait a minute. Is this ketchup? Gramps, what is going on? Oh, you got me. We don't have Tanagran flu, Zach. I made it up. I painted spots on you while you were sleeping. What? Why? Because it was hilarious. And, and well, I just realized that ever since you shrunk down, we've barely spent any time together. Just you and I. And that's what this summer was supposed to be about. Oh, Gramps, it's okay. We've had our hands full saving the world from Adila. And feeding Chowser. I know, but but also there's there's something I, I, I want to... Uh... Something you want to what? Uh, oh. Huh? First things first. Eh, we've got plenty of time. Gramps, what are you doing? What every grandfather should be doing with his grandson. Camping! Oh, camping? Cool! Oh, roasting marshmallows, telling ghost stories. I love camping. <laughs> so where's the tent? A tent? My dear boy. Ta-da! We're going to make the greatest, most advanced camping compound this yard has ever seen. Oh, so you want to take everything fun and relaxing about camping and replace it with work. Fun work! Uh-huh. What are those two hairless apes up to now? Those look like plants. But plants for what? I need high and low. Oh, we're right here, ma'am. How long have you two been standing there? <laughs> oh, well, it's two o'clock now, and I was born on a Tuesday, so uh, one and one is eleven. Ah, and, uh... never mind. Get out there and find out what the humans are scheming. But don't do anything else yet. Then I'll make a plan. I'm not letting you mess it up like always. Always? That's a bit harsh. Mm, no, she's right. Just get going! <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Don't chicken out, old man. He needs to know. You have to tell him. You can do it. Hey, Zach, let's, uh, let's have a chat. So how's uh, school? Well, once I go back, I'm pretty sure I have a lock on winning best what I did on my summer vacation essay. Oh, yes. Your dad always knocked those out of the park. And, uh, well, speaking of your dad... My dad? What about him? Uh, yes, um, you see, 
Now, what am I saying? We have a shelter to build. We'll need some timbers. Oh, Gramps! My dad! What were you... <sighs> what? Oh, great! Now, of all times... No, I'm not letting those clowns ruin this. Uh... What's that, Gramps? You say that there's an important shrinkinator part buried underneath the dung beetle's dung heap? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> you are thinking how oh, your head's gonna explode? <laughs> yeah. I didn't say anything about a shrinkinator part. Uh, neither did I. So, what were you saying about my dad? It's, uh, well, uh, here, help me with the media room. The media room? No time for chit chat. There's no freaking ain't a pot in here. Hey, no, did you find anything? Uh, just some digested chestnuts. <laughs> Maybe we didn't hear them right. We should head back and listen closer. Uh, careful! That rock needs to be sticking straight up if we're going to get a good angle for the solar panel. How are we going to make a solar panel? Uh, we'll need to fashion an alloy out of amber and... I can piggyback a signal off the Delta Band and shut the grip. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, no. I knew air conditioning was a long shot anyway. Yeah, we really are roughing it, aren't we? <laughs> it reminds me of the time your dad and I built a bike powered ceiling fan. Yeah, about my dad. You were starting to tell me something? Uh, well, Zach. What is that smell? Strange. Uh, a muscle flexing tournament happening right now in the tree's knot hole? Oh, you don't say. Muscle flexing tournament? Yeah, we are so there. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, muscle What? Zach, are you feeling all right? I'm fine, Gramps. Now, about my dad. Dad, I know what'll make you feel better. Relaxing in a pair of Adirondack style easy chairs. <laughs> Get that first place trophy ready. <laughs> We're here for the flexing tournament. Yeah, yeah, check this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Through that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where is everybody? There, in the shadows. Uh, wait a minute. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Bounce, oh, bang, bounce, yeah. bounce, yeah. bounce. Look, look at that blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, two packs on. Spider was too spindly to flex. What's wrong, kiddo? Your, your mind's somewhere else. <sighs> it was the roaches. What do you mean? They've been spying on us. I was trying to get rid of them so they didn't ruin your camping trip. Zach, that's so... so thoughtful. Really? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, too, Zach. Uh, I've been wanting to tell you something for a while now, but, well, uh... You see, your father... Let me guess. I'll take care of it. No, we'll take care of it. <laughs> Look, yeah, we scared them off. <laughs> Ha! Those flady cats! Hey, look! An unassembled pair of Adirondack easy chairs! Who goes Ooh. there? You dare trespass on my domain? What gives you the right? Ha! Ah! 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 
bit sorry, sir. Uh, you know, we were, we were looking for humans, you know. A small, squishy, uh, one of them has a big eyebrow under his nose. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I have dealt with the humans, and now I will deal with you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm actually not surprised, but still, that was awesome! I was just gonna do some bionic action moves and shoot my bolo, but hey, we're roughing it! Right! Sometimes going back to basics is just the ticket. We're camping! We should be having fun! Especially when dealing with the dealer schools. Yeah, thanks, Gramps. This is fun, even if our vacation home didn't turn out exactly as planned. Still got a few tricks up my sleeve, boy. Well, your sleeve. This is all we need. That and some marshmallows. One thing at a time. Uh, reminds me of when your dad and I would do this. You look like him, you know. Really? Spitting image. <sighs> he was about your age when he started helping me build this thing. Wait, what? My dad helped build the Shrinkinator? Gramps, 